Welcome to Mac Connections, the podcast. Keeping connected and looking after yourselves is so important during these changing times. We trust the following conversation will provide some helpful guidance. If you have any concerns, please get in contact with staff in the Year 12 team. We want to be able to provide all the support we can. Our patron, St. Mary of the Cross MacKillop, wrote in 1875, May God bless and keep you and give you courage. We acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which this podcast is recorded. We pay our respects to their elders, past and present, and to the Aboriginal elders emerging. Episode 5, Motivation. Here is your host, Director of Wellbeing, Mr. Andrew Exton. Welcome back to another podcast with Joe Parker from HeartSparks. Today, we're going to look at another topic that we think is really important for students to consider during this period of remote learning, and that's around the concept of motivation. I think it's difficult at times during this period to maintain a level of motivation around where we're headed, what the options are going to be, what the future looks like. And I think we struggle most of all with motivation when we're going through a period of uncertainty. Joe, welcome back. Um, in discussing this prior to doing this podcast, you talked about motivation being in two forms, and that's internal and external, or intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Talk to us about the differences between those two concepts and how it applies to students going through this period of remote learning. Mm, thanks for having me back. And motivation, because it comes to us in different forms, or in some instances doesn't come to us in different forms, can be tricky to get our head around in relation to how we can best support ourselves when it's not there. Extrinsic or external motivation is really based on the idea that we're motivated for either some kind of external reward, be it a prize or a trophy or acknowledgement or external recognition from someone, or we're motivated by wanting to not externally get in trouble. So not wanting to be told off, not wanting to be seen as somebody who's lesser or not as impressive as other people. Internal motivation, on the other hand, or intrinsic motivation is more based around the idea that we do things because we want to for ourselves, maybe because they feel good or it's an activity that we enjoy or because the activity in itself feels like a reward. And the challenge with times of uncertainty and in particular remote learning is that the types of motivation we're able to access sometimes get shifted around or disappear or don't look the way that we are used to having them look. For example, sometimes just going to school is fueled by intrinsic motivation. I know for me, as a young person, when I was at high school, I wanted to go to school because I wanted to see my friends and it felt good. And so showing up for class and doing work at times felt like a bit of a byproduct of the main reason that I was there, which was to socialise. On the other hand, at times when I was relying on extrinsic motivation or external motivation from teachers telling me that I was doing a good job or the pressure of deadlines and needing to get homework done. That was the thing that got kept me going. And so in times of remote learning where we don't get that kind of contact or deadlines change, or perhaps we don't even know when deadlines are because there's so much that's up in the air, we can't access motivation in the way that we're used to, which makes things really hard. So if I'm interpreting what you're saying correctly, Joe, would it be fair to say that if students are experiencing a lack of motivation, if they're struggling to know why they're doing it and find purpose, that first of all, they need to realise that that's perfectly natural based on what we're going through at the moment. And if they are struggling for, for motivation, they need to accept that that's okay and then probably need to find ways of providing themselves with motivation maybe on a micro level rather than that macro level when there is so much uncertainty about the prize of a of a place next year in a university or getting a good study score or whatever else absolutely that word and is so important here i think because there is that big piece that's about going 
okay, I'm not feeling as motivated as I once was, that's okay. And really being all right and accepting of that and knowing that that's a natural byproduct of this time. And, and this is where that word comes in, and then also coming back to that key question that we've spoken about before, which is what's in my control right now and how can I control my access to motivation? And that could look like a lot of different things, but the best part to focus on here is that internal motivation, the stuff that you are able to tap into because it feels good. Now, for some people like me, that can look like music. When I have good music around me, I'm more likely to want to show up for tasks that don't feel easy because I've got a bit of a pep in my step. It might be affirmations or words of encouragement or connecting with a friend and holding each other accountable to getting something done. Or sometimes it can just be about remembering what all of these small tasks in the now mean for the bigger picture. So even if we don't know when deadlines are or what next year is going to look like, sometimes we can still know for sure that still showing up in this moment is going to benefit us in some way. It's going to be a lot more helpful than not showing up for the bigger picture, regardless of what that ends up looking like. So just, as you said, stripping things right back and focusing on the smallest things that are directly in front of us and trusting that all of those small steps or those small snippets of motivation are going to have the ability to build up and that small snippets right now is enough. So Joe, we've talked about the importance of structure in previous podcasts. If I said to you, I want to, I want to try and find some intrinsic, extrinsic motivation. If I get up tomorrow a little bit earlier and I finish this work by this date or time, I'm going to give myself some time to watch a show or go out for a walk and listen to music or um, bake a cake or do that sort of stuff. Is that too simplistic to talk about the way you might structure your day to have a component of motivating yourself to do what you need to do on that day? Not at all. That, that's really valid. There are two parts to this that can be really helpful. The first one's thinking about things before the day and focusing on how you want to feel when you're showing up to do schoolwork and then accessing whatever it might be in your morning before the school day even starts that allows you to show up feeling however you've identified, ready, strong, intelligent, nourished, nurtured, calm, peaceful, whatever that might be. And then that second part, that rewards, almost that reward system for yourself is really valid because you're going to be much more likely to show up and get things done, knowing that there's something really good and fun waiting on the other end. And whatever your motivation is for showing up and being present and getting things done right now is okay. What's most important is that that question around what do I need to access to stay motivated right now is one that you're asking yourself frequently. Well, Joe, thank you for that again today. And I think um, in terms of my motivation, can I say now that we've done this podcast, I think I'll go and reward myself with a piece of caramel slice <laughs> that my daughter's <laughs> made. It might not be the most healthiest form of motivation, but it is a motivation for, for completing this task and moving on to the next one. So um, the good news, Joe, is that You'll be back every week with one of these podcasts for our students um, and we hope that they continue to help them through this period of remote learning and we hope that we all get some benefit out of the conversation and just being able to share ideas. So thanks very much and we'll be back next week to talk a little bit more about some other topics. Thank you. Yeah, here's to Caramel Slice and I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for having me back. No worries. Thank you very much. That brings us to the end of this episode. A reminder, if you do need any help, if you have any queries, questions or concerns, please contact a member of the Year 12 team.